Yo, you see chains, they can either be a sex move or they could be this. The chain was too much. I give a 10 to the shirt, but the chain, the shoes. Man, they hate on my drip, man. Come on, this the drip. Boys, I've told you time and time again, I love wearing chains. Shoot, I'm dressed up right now and I'm still wearing a minimal chain today. And see, the way to execute this properly, whether you're wearing it iced out like this or something minimal like this, is by following these five simple rules that I'm gonna show you in today's video. Let's hop into it. Number one, it's one of my favorite moves. I call it the subtle tuck. They, this this one works with very bold and kind of in your face necklaces. You usually want something a little bit thicker here. For, so for this move, I usually love to use this one. My wife actually bought me this iced out tennis chain. This is perfect for this move where it, when I wear it out, it's a little bit too much. It draws a lot of attention. However, for this move with a chain like that, you're going to want to wear a t-shirt that's or a sweater that has a little bit of a wider neck. Then you just tuck in your necklace and you're just going to let a little peep of it, like side of it pop out. In other words, untucked, it's a little bit too much. Tucked in, you get that little bit peeping out, which is just, it just looks sick. Number two, I call it the bare chest. This is one of my favorite moves when I'm wearing a button down like I'm wearing right now. See, you got one goal when you're wearing the bare chest. Your goal is to draw the female eye into the bare chest, into the glorious pecs that you've been pumping up in the gym so much. However, you never want to tacky up a button down that's supposed to look sophisticated. You wouldn't throw on a chain like this with a shirt like this. You need to keep it professional. That, that is when a minimal box chain comes in. See, this one is less than a millimeter thick. You want something under two millimeters thick and also something that's between 18 to 20 inches in length. As you can see, this is a very short necklace. This shows just enough underneath a bare chest. It doesn't make your dress shirt tacky, but it draws the eyes in. This one is from Rose Gold and Black. It's in stainless steel and it's their new box chain. And I talked to you guys about this chain before. It has been one of my favorite chains so far because it's just so usable. It's so versatile. And see, if you're a guy that's just starting out now and you want to get into chains and you don't know where to start, a simple, minimal box chain, that is your go-to. That is your ground zero because it's easy. You can literally wear a chain like this with anything. T-shirt, tucked in, untucked, bare chest, you'll wear it so much, you'll see why it's one of my go-to pieces. And the best part is, since it's from our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black, and it's stainless steel, it's affordable. You don't have to drop racks like you do like on an iced out chain or a gold chain. You can buy something that's affordable that you'll actually get used from and you'll actually look good in. That right there is why I love Rose Gold and Black Jewelry. See, jewelry has the power to elevate up any outfit and the great part is that it doesn't matter how simple your outfit is jewelry can take it up to the next level rose gold and black has you covered across the board with necklaces bracelets watches and even rings and the good thing is that all of them are affordable but since they're having their fourth annual anniversary sale everything on their site is 45% off, which is absolutely insane. And so the affordable box chain that's already crazy affordable, it's gonna be even more affordable just for you boys. On top of that, you're gonna get right now a free necklace or bracelet. This is an offer that they did last month and it just absolutely killed it. Now they did sell out really quick, so this is a first come, first serve basis. Once you buy or place any order with Rose Gold and Black, through our link at the end of checkout, you're gonna get the option of a free bracelet or an extra free necklace. And the great part is that, yo, their jewelry can go anywhere from like 50 to 60 bucks. You're gonna get that completely free just cause you're watching this video and just cause Rose Gold and Black wants to make sure that you are buying the right necklace to be able to execute this properly. If you guys want that simple, minimal necklaces, you gotta check out Rose Gold and Black. Then we go on to number three, which is one of my favorite moves. It's called stacking. See, you don't only have to wear one necklace. Once you start playing in the major leagues, you'll realize that you can start stacking necklaces. Now, for my personal preference, I don't like to stack anything more than three necklaces, and usually two is the sweet spot. This is a very pro-level move, and you have to treat it like clothing. In other words, when you start layering clothing, you try to make sure that every single layer is either visible or in different lengths. Well, you wanna do the same thing with jewelry. See, I would not stack up three 20 inch necklaces all the same length, cause they'll just get kinda of lost in the sauce. Like you'll lose all that extra effort. Instead, you want variable length. So for example, if I'm wearing a 20 inch necklace, I would stack it with a 22 or a 24 inch necklace where you can see the visible layers. And again, it just adds to that depth. And it, it, it adds to that, 
to that style know-how that mo your average guy, yeah, he won't know how to pull that off. Then we go on to number four, and it's the pendant style. This is my favorite style to wear outside a shirt. See, whether you're wearing a sweater or a t-shirt and you really wanna show something off, a pendant does it just right. Now, again, for me, for my purposes, I like to keep it minimal. Don't get a huge, big ass cross or a big ass eye style. All of that just makes your outfit look tacky. Instead, get something small and minimal. This always works, especially if you're just starting out. Moreover, I like to pair my pendants with 22 or 24 inch necklaces. That way they can hang down a little bit more. And like I mentioned, you do wanna wear this outside your shirt because when you tuck in a pendant, it kind of defeats the purpose because the pendant is like the main focus of the piece. And finally, your fifth rule is to never wear anything fake. No fake diamonds, no fake gold, no fake silver. See, it's just, it's bad taste when you flex things that you don't have. Moreover, it's gonna definitely cheapen out your outfit when that chain starts peeling on you. It's much better if you can't afford like the super expensive stuff, then buy the plated or the dipped stuff, like your dipped gold, your dipped silver, cause it's gonna last you longer and it's not gonna chip. Or if you want even something more affordable, go for stainless steel like this chain. Yo, it still looks luxurious. It still elevates your fits and you're not breaking the bank. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five rules that you need to follow if you wanna start wearing chains. Like I said, that's it for me today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. They'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. Yes.